Hi, I'm Darren Miles with Darren Miles Photography and I'm based here in beautiful, sunny Southwest Florida. And this is the brand new, groundbreaking and really exciting three axis gimbal device for camera phones, the Xeon Smooth 4. And what's so great about this thing is that this is a three axis gimbal device for camera phones. And historically, speaking for myself, I haven't really used my camera phone because it's been kind of clumsy to get to the various functions that I want to use to take advantage of all of its capabilities. Well, one of the great things about the Smooth 4 is that it actually fully integrates into your cell phone and the gimbal becomes the control panel that actually helps you control the various functions of your phone's camera. Really cool. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna do a quick unboxing video and then tomorrow morning or tonight, I'm gonna charge this thing up and then tomorrow we're gonna to run through the app and then we're gonna run through all the various functions of the gimbal itself and how you can use it to get really great cool and cinematic videos with your camera phone. So let's get into the unboxing. Let's do this thing. So let me take off the plastic. Okay. okay. Here. 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 Whoa. The instruction manual just went flying on the floor. Okay. This is the case. All right, now, I'm feeling pretty lucky because, oh yeah. All right, we're gonna open this thing up, what do we got? Well, for starters, we have a USB cable. This is for charging and for firmware updates. Very important, hold on to this because the connection here is not your standard connection to uh, the one that actually goes into the gimbal. And Xeon has sent me the white Smooth 4. This is very cool. And what I love about this, and Xeon's been doing this with all their gimbals, but I think it's kind of cool they've included it with this little one too. This is a little tripod that you can connect to this thing. Roll it on here, pop, pop, pop. This makes balancing so much easier. It's such a nice little touch that Xeon has included with this thing, I love it. So we've got our tripod, we've got the gimbal itself, and we have this cord. So tonight, I'm gonna to charge this up. Tomorrow, we're gonna to cover the app, and we're gonna cover all the functionality that's built into the Xeon Smooth 4. And again, how you can take full advantage of your camera phone's capabilities right from this gimbal. Can't wait, looking forward to it. See you tomorrow. Before we get into the setup, the app, and the tutorial, I'd like to explain why this is such an important gimbal for filmmakers on a budget. Because up until recently, three-axis gimbals that were designed to be used specifically with camera phones, well, the only thing they really did was smooth out video footage, which in and of itself is great. But as filmmakers, to take advantage of a capable tool like today's camera phones, we need more. For me, I'm really excited about the brand new Smooth 4 from Xeon, because with the Xeon Play app and Bluetooth, the Smooth 4 fully integrates all of your cell phone camera's functionality right here into the control panel of the gimbal, which means in addition to smooth camera movement, we now have a fully integrated, fully functioning professional system to take great videos right from your camera phone. So without further ado, let's check it out. The first thing that we're going to want to do is balance our camera phone. The Smooth 4 can handle cell phones weighing between 2.65 ounces and 7.41 ounces, which should cover virtually every smartphone on the market today. I'm using the iPhone 7 Plus, which is on the larger side of today's smartphones. Now you'll notice when I put the iPhone 7 Plus into the Smooth 4, it's not that well balanced. Fortunately, Xeon has included this extension arm, which allows us to adjust depending on which phone we're using. So I just slide it outward to balance the cell phone. And there, just like that, we're balanced. Now that we're balanced, the next thing we need to do is power up and connect via Bluetooth your camera phone to the gimbal. Press and hold the power button for a couple of seconds and the Smooth 4 springs to life. The next thing you need to do is download the latest ZY Play app from the App Store. I'm utilizing iOS and I've already downloaded the app. You can see it right here. I press the ZY Play app and it loads. The next thing we need to do is connect your camera phone to the gimbal via Bluetooth. And you can see right here on the opening screen is connect your device. Usually it's plug and play and it'll see your Smooth 4 
it'll recognize it, checkbox, and just like that, boom, we're connected. So here we are. All your camera's basic functionality is now available right here at your fingertips. Your gimbal has become the camera's control interface. And in addition to basic functionality, there are also, also some advanced modes that we're going to cover a little bit later in this video. The next thing we need to do now is explain the interface and what all these various buttons do and how they interact or interface with your camera. Now, let's cover the basic functionality and the control panel of the Smooth 4 and allow me to demonstrate what makes the Smooth 4 so simple to use. First is the menu button. You press this to get into all the functions of your camera. Now we'll get into each one of those just a little bit later. DISP or display toggles on and off the display of your camera's current settings. The control wheel here in the center, well, this thing is multifunctional. It acts both as a wheel for control over various functions, but it also has north, south, east, and west buttons that initiate other different functions. Let me explain. Up or north brings up various video resolution and frame rate options. Right or east is exposure compensation. When you press that, you then rotate the dial or the wheel clockwise to increase exposure compensation or counterclockwise to decrease exposure compensation. That's indicated when you press the display under EV. Down or south brings up all your media. That is all the videos and pictures you've taken with the Smooth 4 on your camera phone. Left or west toggles between selfie mode and normal mode. The flash icon in the center, where well, you press and hold it and that turns your camera's LED on and off. Now moving to the bottom, if you want to take a picture, you just press the camera button. If you want to start a video, you just press the red record button. The lower left hand side here, you have this target. What that does is it toggles between focus and zoom functionality with the control wheel here on the left side of the gimbal. The wheel will either zoom or focus depending on which setting we have it on. Moving to the bottom, we have this switch right here that allows us to switch or toggle between pan follow and locking mode. The power button, well, it turns the smooth on and off. And the blue LED indicator light here at the bottom tells us how much power we have left. And speaking of which, the Smooth 4 has up to 12 hours of runtime. It's pretty amazing. Now moving to the back, we have this up-down toggle switch. If you press and hold the up portion, this turns on something called Phone Go Mode. This is a really cool and advanced feature that I'll explain in the Advanced Mode section. And then the bottom here, this puts us in what's called Full Follow Mode. This makes the gimbal stay with you when you pan up and down. So there you have it. That's the basic functionality of the control panel of the Smooth 4. Now let's delve into the advanced and innovative functions and features of the Smooth 4. Let's take a closer look at the menu. First up is camera. This brings us into the advanced shooting modes. And by the way, when you're in the menu, the flash button becomes like an enter or action button that executes the option that you're staring at on the screen. You'll note that you'll find yourself wanting to touch the screen to execute the various functions, but the Smooth 4 interface doesn't work that way because the flash button is the enter or execute button. Now within the camera submenu, I'll get into the advanced shooting modes in the next section. For right now, let me just get through the rest of the menu functions first. Oh, and by the way, the other thing you probably need to know is that the menu button acts like a back button that will take you out of whatever section you happen to be in. Next up is flash. This is for photos. This will toggle the flash between on, off, and automatic. Next is timer, also for photos. This will give us a two or five or 10 second delay before the phone takes a picture. Next is HDR, also for photos. This turns high dynamic range on and off. WB or white balance, I usually leave mine on auto, but you can set the white balance to sunny, cloudy, fluorescent, or incandescent. Next is RES or resolution. This controls the resolution and frame rate of your video. Next up is manual mode. Just like your DSLR, the Smooth 4 gives you full manual control over your camera's major functions exposure compensation, shutter speed, ISO, and white balance. And you manipulate those with the control wheel and the flash button. Next is scene. If you're gonna be walking at a very slow and deliberate pace, trying to get the smoothest footage possible, then you would select walking, which is also the default setting. If on the other hand, you know you'll be moving quickly through a scene or running, then you would select motion. 
and the Smooth 4 will adjust the sensitivity and responsiveness of the motors depending on which mode you have chosen. However, I didn't really notice much difference between the two in real world situations. Filter. I don't really use filters, but this will change the color setting of your camera. For me, I usually leave this one on original. Then, within the settings menu, you have things like beauty cam, zoom sensitivity, panorama time, grid lines, etc. And then lastly, under the general tab, that gives you the device name and the version of firmware that your Smooth 4 is currently running. The first advanced shooting mode that I want to discuss is 180 pano, and to get to that you press menu, camera, and then you scroll to the right and the first one is 180 pano. You press that, and what the camera's going to do, it's going to do just like it sounds. It's going to take a 180 degree picture of the scene in front of you. This is great for landscapes. So I press the camera button, and I let the Smooth 4 and the iPhone do its thing. And here we go. And there you have it. Let me show you some samples with the 180 degree pano mode. The next advanced shooting mode is 3x3 pano. And what this does is the Smooth 4 and the iPhone will take a series of nine photographs. They'll take three pictures up high, one, two, three, three pictures in the middle of the scene, one, two, three, three pictures down low, one, two, three, and then I'll stitch them all together. This is great for really wide scenes like maybe a big church or a cathedral, or maybe the front of a house if you're a real estate agent. So to get to that, press menu, camera, scroll to the right, and it's three by three pano. I press the enter button or the flash button, and then I press the camera button, and I let the Smooth 4 and the iPhone do its thing. Check, Check it out. And there you go. Let me show you some samples of 3x3 three three pano mode. Next is multi-exposure. The ZY Play app is used across several of Xeon's gimbals, and the multi-exposure function is currently not operational, at least not the way it's supposed to be with the Smooth 4. Its functionality will be addressed in a future firmware update. This is when you're photographing like a night scene, like maybe a city scene or something like that. You set up your gimbal, you press menu, camera, and then scroll to get to long exposure. What long exposure does, you pick your scene, you press the camera button, and what happens is as cars or anything with light moves through the scene, light trails appear. And this is really kind of cool if you want to get like, again, those night cityscapes with light trails moving through the city or whatever. It kind of makes your image feel or come to life. So let me show you some examples of what long exposure pictures look like. The next advanced feature is slow-mo. And what's so great about this is that slow motion is just like it sounds, slow motion. Press camera, move to the right, select slow-mo. Now the one mistake that I kept making when I first did this is I kept pressing the record button thinking it was just like any other video and it would just know. But one thing you need to know about the advanced shooting methods or the advanced shooting modes, in order to activate them, you need to press the camera button. So even though you're filming a video in slow-mo, make sure you press the camera button and you get some really cool slow motion shots. Go ahead and check out the examples of slow-mo.
So the next advanced shooting mode that I want to talk about is time lapse. If you've used your iPhone before, you know there's a time lapse function in the camera as it is today. You scroll over to time lapse and press record, and the iPhone takes it upon itself to film a time lapse. And when you think you're done, you press the record button again and it stops. Well, what's so great about the Smooth 4, once you've connected via Bluetooth, you can actually turn your Smooth 4 and the iPhone into an intervalometer. So when you press menu and camera and scroll over to time lapse, and then press enter or press the flash button, which again, remember, that, that's your execute button. And then up comes your intervalometer. And what you do here is you set the interval. I'm gonna tell the iPhone to take a photo every five seconds. And then I want the duration of this clip to be 10 minutes long. And I'm gonna set that to 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna tell the Smooth 4 to dim my iPhone screen during the shooting to conserve battery. That's a very important thing because you can drain your battery pretty fast doing all these operations, especially with, blue, with Bluetooth attached. And then I'm gonna press start. And just like that, we've got a really great time-lapse machine with the Smooth 4 and your camera phone. Let's check out the result. So the next feature we want to talk about is something really exciting. This is the motion time-lapse. This is one of the really great new features of the Smooth 4. What it allows us to do is rotate the camera during a time lapse. And the way to set that up is we have to do the following. Press menu, camera, scroll over to motion time lapse. And then the first thing you have to do is make sure your camera is in locking mode. It can't be in pan following, it has to be in locking. So make sure you put it into locking. And then we have to manually turn the camera to our starting point. I'm gonna turn it to about here. And I'm gonna press the enter button or the flash button and then I'm going to rotate the camera all the way to here, which shows us a little bit of a sunset. And I'm going to press the enter button. So I have a beginning point and an end point. And I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to leave all these parameters static for right now, just for demonstration purposes. The only thing I want to do is lock the autofocus. So the first shot that it takes, it's going to like, it won't get that shimmy throughout the time lapse. If it keeps trying to find a focal point, it's going to lock focus on the first shot and just maintain that focus the entire time. And then I'm going to click next. And now we get into the intervalometer portion of the app. So what I want to do is the interval. I want to take a shot every five seconds and I want the time lapse to last 10 minutes. Again, just for demonstration purposes. In addition to basic A to B movements, the motion time lapse will allow up to five waypoints. You can also tilt the camera up and down and you have the option of zooming simultaneously which will allow you to create some seriously wild motion time lapses. Okay also I want to save this time lapse so that I can come back to it later. This will become a preset these two starting points and end points and then I'm going to click start and just like that my camera is going to go to its starting position and the time lapse will begin. So let's check out that result. The next advanced feature is something called vertigo mode. Now I just did a video on this and one of the cool things about vertigo is that you can do it fully manually and that, that is you control your movement and you control the zoom by going telephoto to wide or wide to telephoto to get that shifting foreground and background. What I didn't know at the time of the video is that Xeon has actually incorporated a semi-automatic way to do vertigo mode and it's built into the Smooth 4. What you do is you set two waypoints and all that means is you tell the camera whether you want to go from wide to telephoto or telephoto to wide and by how much. Then you tell the software via the app how, how much time do you want it to take to go from full wide to full telephoto or again from full telephoto to full wide. So you set your parameters, you have your starting point full wide and your ending point full telephoto and then you tell the smooth and the app how long do you want it to take to go there. So let's say we want to go from full wide to full telephoto and I want it to take 10 seconds. So I set the, that starting point and that end point, I press enter and I press start. And what I need to do is physically move towards my subject or away from my subject and the Smooth 4 will actually manage the zoom automatically. It's kind of a neat effect and I, I'm sure every vlogger and YouTuber will be using this thing like crazy over the next three to six months. But let's go ahead and check out some examples of the vertigo mode.
So next up is something that Xeon refers to as phone go mode. And what that means is, let me just show you, like normally your gimbal, when you're panning left to right, it pans very slowly, very controlled, very smooth, and very leisurely. Well, when I press and hold the trigger on the up position back here and I hold it, the motors stiffen up and the gimbal becomes much more responsive. So I can snap to the left and snap to the right, snap to the left. This would be really great if you have like two characters in a scene kind of going back and forth between each other. It actually brings a new level of depth and dimension and gives you another great option for filmmaking with your Smooth 4. Didn't you lie to mom yesterday? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Now, the normal operation of the gimbal, when you tilt up and tilt down, the gimbal and the camera maintains a level horizon in front of you. But if you press and hold this bottom, the bottom part of the trigger here, this goes into full follow mode. So what does that mean? It means when I press it and I tilt the camera upward, the camera now pans up and pans down. It doesn't care so much about the level horizon anymore. You can see how now it's panning down, now it pans up. This is great if you're gonna work in selfie mode and you wanna angle above yourself like this, it'll actually stay with you. It's just another ni nice, neat option that Xeon has included with the Smooth 4. To close out this video, I wanna offer a few tips, a couple of nice side features, and other important information that I wish I had known going into this tutorial. First, a couple of tips. Number one, be sure to turn your phone into airplane mode because an incoming call or text can interfere with Bluetooth and can disrupt the Bluetooth connection between your phone and the Smooth 4. This happened to me a few times and you can probably imagine it's extraordinarily frustrating if you're in the middle of a really long time lapse. Urgh. Number two, your media does not automatically transfer to your phone. Huh? What does that mean? Well, essentially, everything you record in the ZY Play app stays on the ZY Play app until you save it to your phone. Let me show you how you do that. Enter your media with the down or south button on the control wheel, select the clip or the photo that you wanna save, and then you press this little icon. Kinda looks like an old floppy disk from the 1980s. Well, you press that, and that'll transfer the file to your phone, and now it'll be visible in Lightroom, Final Cut Pro, and Premiere. Number three, if I could offer a piece of advice, it would be to practice, practice, practice. As you can probably tell from some of my test footage, to get the vertigo mode specifically to work right and more importantly to look good, you gotta need to practice. Even with the gimbal controlling the zoom, the footage can still look a little bit shaky when you handhold. One thing you might wanna consider doing is putting your Smooth 4 on a dolly or on a slider during a vertigo move specifically for the best possible results. Number four, one other mode worth mentioning is something called standby mode. This actually allows you to fold the Smooth 4 up even while it's still powered on. What this does is prevent any delays from occurring as you'll no longer need to power down the Smooth and reconnect Bluetooth because the Bluetooth connection remains active when you place the Smooth 4 in this standby mode. Number five, another nice feature is located within the full follow mode. You engage the full follow mode by pressing and holding the bottom toggle trigger here in the back of the gimbal. And then when you pan up, you can then let go of the, of the toggle trigger and the Smooth 4 will hold the phone in that position. Now this is really nice if you wanna shoot something in the sky or if you like to look up when you're taking a selfie or vlogging. It's really neat because it partially offsets one of the Smooth 4's few shortcomings and that's the lack of a joystick. And to conclude this video, if you've ever been on the fence about utilizing your iPhone or your camera phone in your workflow, then I think you'll agree the Smooth 4 opens the door and will allow you to quickly and efficiently bring your camera phone into your video projects, even the higher end and more professional ones, because the Smooth 4 is just loaded with professional features and brings all of your camera phone's capability directly to your fingertips. I never really knew just how capable my iPhone was until I connected it to a Smooth 4. For me, this has been an eye-opening and game-changing experience.
Lastly, a special thank you to the folks over at Xeon who sponsored this video and sent me the final production version of the Smooth 4 prior to its release for this tutorial. I'm Darren Miles with Darren Miles Photography based here in beautiful, sunny Southwest Florida and this is the Smooth 4 from Xeon. The links to order are down below and don't forget to subscribe. Until the next time, happy filming.